and there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Same. And I've just got off the phone with my landlord. Oh, not same. Yeah, I missed a payment, but it's it's fine. I've paid it now, and it, it's settled anyway. Mm. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too. Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. No, a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and- you're not helping. You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like, 80 likes but like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones it's all just a bit quiet are your standards a little bit high no anyway i have a new initiative in the works what's that you're gonna kidnap someone i've signed up for speed dating tonight <laughs> okay why are you telling me this because i'm bricking it and like do you want to have a drink before could you just say less It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. Because there's no substitute for meeting someone face to face, like you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection was crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're gonna be beginning very shortly. So gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're gonna find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> Ni Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling, you're like a thing. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's a woman that left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, hence why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with a gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. You? <sighs> Have you been waiting long? No, I've been waiting my whole life for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, my, um... I've only just finished work, you see, so it takes me a minute to recalibrate. I get that. Okay. Um, I am a freelance computer engineer. That's what I do. And because of that, my work hours are just all over the place. I like to mess around with coding in my free time. Try and fix problems. Really? Do you know about Raspberry Pi? Oh, I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it. OK, so it's a small computer that you can program for, like, simple projects. For example, I built myself a dashboard for my bicycle. So it shows me my time, my speed, you know, uh, my location, you know, on the route. So a phone without a phone. But more fun. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me feel like uh, the great creator. God. Steve Jobs. <laughs> So, Lucas, what's your living situation? 
Do you have any flatmates? I actually live on my own, which, to be honest, I love. Antisocial, though. I don't know if you found this, but as you get older, there's just harder and smaller avenues of making friends, because everyone's already found their clique, you know? So I suppose things like this are amazing for that. If you don't mind me asking, how do you afford to live on your own? Something I was working on just like, did well, so... And I decided, yeah, I'm going to get myself a place. I deserve it. And the rest is history. <laughs> what about you? Do you prefer to live on your own or with people? No, I've tried both. I worked away for a bit and they put me up. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, that's a really good way of experiencing being on your own, I suppose. It's lovely getting home to a warm house with people in it. I think it's quite a special time in life. What is? Oh, living with friends. It doesn't last forever. Yeah, you're right. I mean, for me, again, I, I definitely love being alone, but it's great that you've experienced that. So if you like living on your own, does that mean you wouldn't want to live with a partner? No, I, I'd definitely live with someone, especially if it was someone, you know, that really meant something to me. I think what I need is just my own space to be able to work and, and focus. That's it. That's healthy. The last couple of years have been tough, but... I'm grateful that we went through it when we had video calling. Exactly, I mean, and that wouldn't have been possible without technology. It's taking over the world. So are you aware of the synchronicity then? That's when uh, AI will eventually surpass mankind. You know, robots ruling the world and all that. If you could say yes or no to that happening, what would you say? Mm. No. It's a bit close-minded. What, just because I disagree with you? No, I mean, it's just there's no room for development, if you say that. Well, why does everything have to be open to the possibility of change? Because everything is in constant change all the time. For example, we used to believe the Earth was flat, now we believe it's a globe. We used to believe in angels and demons, now we believe in quantum physics, ones and zeros, and Some so... people believe in angels and demons. Yeah, but the point is, the only thing that stays constant is the change itself. When we're faced with change, we become our most creative selves. All right, Plato. This is your halfway warning, guys. That is three minutes to go. 180 seconds. Couldn't tell you how many milliseconds. Oh, really? What's, what's the time? You're wearing a watch, yet you still checked your phone. You're right. Um, hands up, I must be a phone addict and a laptop addict and a tablet junkie, so... Oh, yeah. the full set. Mm -hmm. You wondering about me? Yeah. I feel like everyone should be asked this on a first date. Why? So you know how distracted someone's going to be when you're trying to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am addicted to my phone, but... Here comes the excuse. No, it's a generational thing. I mean, we grew up with our phones. I mean, they're, like, part of us. They're essential tools for our daily routines. I could not agree more. You know, we are just so immersed in technology, people don't even realise it. We are constantly interacting with it, and it goes far beyond just... Phones. Oh, yeah, I mean, GPS, search engines. My God, I'd be useless without all of that. And take contactless payments, for example. That has completely revolutionised the whole social economics of how we buy things. For example, back a day, you would have to pull out your wallet, get some coins out and pass it to the cashier, whereas I can now just go boop and it's paid for like that. So I'd say these things here are definitely the quickest way to buy things at the moment. I actually... Um, <clears throat> I actually invented a smart band myself. What's that? So, you know hair bands? You know how they've got that little metal connect bit? I've took a microchip with the same kind of contactless uh, software and I've put it into it. So you can tie your hair up with it and you just have it around your wrist. And with that, you could pay for something. And it's not as, you know, flashy as something like this. So it's inconspicuous. That's a pretty genius idea. Thank you. Have you released any of them? I made a few prototypes of the device, and then what I did was I reached out to a big tech company and sold the patent. So that's a pretty big deal. Oh my God, are you loaded? Um, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm signed up to NDAs, you know, so legally I can't. I just really legally shouldn't have told you, I've just told you, you know, so I can't. Secret's safe with me. <sighs> Thank you. One minute to go, guys, one minute. It's your final minute and then we have to wrap it up. Moving on. This has been an interesting date. Oh, no. I, I haven't offended you in anything I've been talking about. No, 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 not at all. I, and I hope I haven't offended you. 
I'm still here, aren't I? Well, not much longer. <laughs> we should make the last 60 seconds count. Okay. I read somewhere that extroverts deal with these kind of situations a lot better than introverts. So, would you say you're more extrovert or introvert? Mm, good question. And you're not allowed to say both. Come on. She, in life, people either favour one side of the spectrum over the other. I'm definitely an extrovert. I think I thrive off of meeting new people. So you're a social vampire. But I don't feed on blood, I feed off of human interaction. <laughs> well, I think that'd be an amazing partnership, you know, for me to be with someone outgoing and outspoken. What, so then I can do all the talking? No, it's just that you could help me come out of my shell, you know, even though I like my privacy, and I could be there for you when you want to feel tranquil and calm. <laughs> and your time is up for that day. Gents, your date is awaiting. Don't tell me you enjoyed that. No, I did. <laughs> me too. Stay in touch? Yeah, if you want. Um, my handle is at the band coder. Mm, unique handle. I'll hit you up. Thank you. And um, bye, Misha. Bye. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? Ah, <sighs> okay. So that was Lucas. He mm. was a coder. He was super intelligent. I didn't understand half of what he said, but he was really lovely. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. So maybe you might see him again? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Okay, nice. So, Misha, what's going to happen next? Mm, I only have one option. Mm-hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. <clears throat> oh. Hello. Hey. You. Oh. Oh. Sorry oh. about, uh, <laughs> gosh. Um, really... Yeah, just sit down. Um, Ah, oh, yeah, um, to be honest, I, I do value a, a good handshake, you know, um, especially since we wasn't allowed to during COVID. How was your lockdown? Not much different to my usual routine, yeah, just got a lot of work done. It was a really surreal time, wasn't it? Yeah, it does feel weird looking back at it. Anyway, we lived it, we don't need to talk about it. Exactly. Should we get some drinks? Yeah, let's get some drinks. Mm -hmm. What for that? Like, these are quite deadly metal straws as well. Yeah, I think you'd put your eye out with one. You're not a bread person. I love bread, but I'm saving myself. I think you need vinegar, though. Really? A tangy. Mm -hmm. So, how have you been? You had a good week? Mm, it's been all right. Some of those... mm. So, how about a bit of game time? Oh, what? Are you not enjoying the conversation? No. <laughs> if you hate it, we can stop. OK, yeah. Uh... I'm done for that. OK. Never have I ever. Oh. Well, never have I ever played Never Have I Ever. OK. Never have I ever catfished anyone. Oh. Wait, I'm not a complete creep, OK? It was um, in year seven, and I'd <laughs> I messaged this girl online pretending to be a bodybuilder from Southend. To be fair, I think I did the same during my MySpace days. I feel like we've all wanted to be someone else at some point in our life. Who was you? A Swedish child model called Heidi. Oh. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Your turn. OK. Uh, ah. Never have I ever um, gone viral. Mm, Technology-based questions. You started it. Mm, not a complaint, just an observation. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm? I'm intrigued. I hopped on the trend of cooking like crazy recipes and presenting them as normal. My pesto s'mores got people outraged. That was you? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You presented them so immaculately that, like, I actually wanted to make them. Shut up. No, seriously, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I, um, I wanted to be internet famous when I was little. Or an astronaut. You would have got to wear the suit. No, I would have been sick in the suit because I can't handle being spun on a roundabout, let alone going to space. <laughs> yeah, one can dream, I suppose. My turn. Never have I ever. I just want to say that um, 
This game is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Just nothing too X-rated, that's all I want to say. Oi, I'm being serious. I can't promise that. I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever made the first move. No? I'm sure that doesn't surprise you. So I guess if anything were to happen between us, it would be me instigating it. Which is totally cool. Shall we move on? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't no, mean to. It's... Um, never have I ever... Um... Oh. You all right over there? <laughs> yeah, I just, um... Pondering my options, that's, that's all. I drank when I'm not supposed to. Oh, well, that's quite all right. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> uh, I've got one. Never have I ever lied on a dating app. Mm, OK, quite similar to the catfishing one, but it's a good one. Is this your way of telling me that you have? No. Oh, you so have. I've never lied on a date. Hmm, but I said dating app. Ah, OK. Mm. I once said I was going on a holiday when I wasn't to bed on a date. Oh, that's fair enough. I mean, you know when you just feel like not showing up to something, it's quite hard to get out of it, isn't it? Yeah, but we could just be honest. What about you? Have you lied on a nap? Yeah. I uh, told someone I wasn't living at home when I was. I just find that females don't like men that live with their parents. Mm, you're overthinking it. Like, sure, we like independence, but if I liked someone enough, I'd make it work. I. I don't live at home anymore, I, um... I know. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I already told you that, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Shall we do one more each? Yeah, sounds good. OK, never have I ever... Do you really have to say never have I ever at the start of every question? Yeah, it's part of the game. OK, I didn't make the rules. I won't argue. Never have I ever... stolen. Actually... A matcha gin? Mm. It was a lip balm at school. My lips were chapped. I'm not proud of it. What about you? Ever been tempted? So, I hacked into my local library's computer system and I wiped my debts. I mean, that totally counts. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, yeah. But they overcharged me, so, uh, you know, I was only rectifying a wrong, so... It's OK. It's a safe space here. OK. Um, never have I ever stood someone up on a date. That, that, that's not how this works. Oh, gosh. I messed that up, haven't It's I? fine. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Uh, OK. Um, what about you? Never done it. What? You've never stood someone up on a date? I, I do realise it's a very shitty thing to do. I'm not trying to justify my actions. I'm just glad you made it here. It was someone that I'd met on an online forum. We made plans and I just pied her off. I feel bad for her and I don't even know her. She probably goes back there every night just on the off chance you'll turn up. I still feel terrible, and it was five years ago. Sitting at the same table, ordering the same drink. You're not making me feel much better. She really didn't deserve that. I love the smell of mint. Really? I hate it. Really? I'm not a herb person. I love a bit of fake lavender. Oh, you can put them in a museum to be like, hey, kids. This, this was is... lavender, no. like they do with dodos. No, it's not just I like technology. I'm, I'm against artificial plants. Yeah, I agree. But, I mean, they do last forever. Oh, OK, that's one plus, mm. I suppose. Yeah. It's that time. It is. Look, I'd really like to get this. Oh, that's a receipt, not a bill. What? Yeah. But neither of us have paid. I know. Um, it's on the house. I help them out with their tech support every now and then, so that's their way of saying thank you. Gosh, you must really be an expert. Something like that. But again, thank you for offering to pay. That means a lot. <sighs> I had a really great time. Same, honestly. Um, I didn't want it to end. <laughs> Do you need... Walking anywhere? Um, you can wait with me, my taxi. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Should we hold hands? Sure, why yeah. not? Hmm. 
anyway. Yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh, gosh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Okay. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Hmm. He goes nothing. Okay, cool. Okay. Thanks. How are you? Cool. Um, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out again. I, I know there's a really cool place we could go to. Okay. Great. Brilliant. I'll I'll text you the details. Okay. Bye. Well. Wow. Yeah? Mm. Third date? Third date. Oh, hey. One more. <laughs> <laughs> that actually was it. You're stronger than you look. I know. Tiny but mighty. <sighs> Yeah, um, this isn't, like, totally inappropriate, is it? No, it's so appropriate. Oh, my God, they're beautiful. Oh, they're for you. Thank you. It's OK. How's your day been? Ugh, I have not left my desk for a week. So, yeah, that feels good. Mm, I have something that helps me when I have laptop eyes. Ugh, not another game. Really? It's a dance app. You have to keep in time with each other to get points. Sure, why not? Hey! The first move is... Oh, the slut drop. OK. So, like... Yes, he's done this before. No. You've so bad. We've got to get in time together. Yes! Maybe this should be the next dance craze. I think it's already been a dance craze. Oh, yeah. Oh, the robot. <laughs> oh, what, you got facial expressions going and everything. Is this because you spend so much time with robots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, this is... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Are you too sweaty? No, I've just had enough, to be honest. I'm pretty knackered too. Should we call it a day? Yes, please. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> did you hate that? I did. <laughs> but I do feel more awake, so mm -hmm. thank you for that. You know, I've been thinking about, like, um, compatibility and how we test our compatibility in, like, this natural world. And how, with romance becoming more and more digitised as we speak, it's becoming a lot easier to find your match. So. If there was, which there will be, a computer that you could put all your information in and it would find your um, perfect suitor, would you go for that? You mean if I could have the perfect person delivered to my door? Essentially, yeah. And it would be that and more than you could ever imagine. I'd love a computer to take all that off my plate, yeah. Exactly. And then if you could also find the sell-by date of that relationship, would you also go for that? Am I market research or something that you're working on? Oh, gosh, no, I'm not that good of a coder for something like that. But um, I'm just curious, that's why. Sign me up. I've wasted so much time and emotion on this stuff. Mm. On average, um, a person invests into six suitors before they find the one that's for them. Shit. Although I do think a study like that is far too long. I think best to leave some things to nature. Mm. You're really keen on this whole let a computer decide for me thing, aren't you? I just find it hard to make genuine connections in a natural environment, that's all. So you want to find a device that tells you how you feel? I mean, surely only you can know that. I just... I don't know, it's... I don't feel like I've got a good judge of character, and if I could, you know, program a device that replicated my brain gut, I would. Well, my gut instinct's telling me it's time to eat. Let's order some food. Um, order whatever you like. 
Why, did you fix this place's payment system too? Um, not quite. Um, I'm one of the owners here. I um, have invested in several establishments in this area. Are you like a tech millionaire? Um, I've created a fair bit of code in my time and sold a few patents, yeah? But I don't tell people about that, really. Um, but yeah, like I said, order whatever you want. It's honestly fine. Are you sure? Honestly, it's fine. That's really sweet, but I'm a simple burger and fries kind of girl. Good choice. So, dark wine is your kind of wine. You don't like light wines. Dark or light? Yeah. I, I like all wine. Wine is great. Mouse. From your mouse. Yes! <laughs> yes, now That's I know it. what Lima is. And there's, like, in real life, they kind of look like mini bear. Oh, gosh. Um, I better go. My cat's waiting to be fed, and she's quite routine with her meals, so, yeah. <laughs> That's OK. Yeah. Thanks for coming all this way. No, it's totally fine. It's not that far. Oh. oh, oh, I'm a hugger. I probably should have mentioned. No, it was nice. Misha, I have had such a lovely evening with you and I would like to um, ask you to accompany me to an event. It's a AI fair. What's that? Well, it's all to do with technology and I've been asked to come as a guest speaker, so... I'd like you to be there. Will there be robots? Maybe. Oh. You might not know who is a robot and who is not. I want you to protect me. No. Okay. I'd love to. It's amazing. Can I walk you home? Um, sure, yeah. I just want to meet your cat. Oh, well, Macintosh is going to love you. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Let's go.